Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habitatillah A question was asked Assalamu alaikum Thank you for your answers to my previous questions May Allah reward you as well Ameen Wa iyaakum In my current profession I work as a supervisor for a sanitation crew of a private company that is contracted by the city I try not to be a micromanager but I do follow up on my employees since they are finished or once they are finished to make sure that our zones are clean. There's a lot of downtime waiting and sitting around. However, during this time, I try to seek knowledge via reading, studying, listening to lectures. Am I sinful for doing this since it is still technically during work hours? At times, I feel guilty for this, but one of the main reasons why I took this job is for the freedom of being outside, making my prayers in congregation, having time to study, etc. None of my bosses consider me to be a bad employee, it seems that they are pleased with me, but I want to make sure that I am not sinful for this, inshallah ta'ala, jazakallah khairan, wa iyakum. Well, first and foremost is, uh, for one, it depends upon the requirements of the job. As long as you are doing your duties of the job, and it's well known that there's downtime, and to be sure, you can even ask your management to make sure that uh, it's okay that, okay, you know, I like to listen to lectures. Is that okay in my, in the time when we're waiting in between uh, uh, our activities or what have you? Or, you know, you, you can make sure with your employer and that would be the safest way. Uh, and, and that way you could determine whether it uh, um, uh, is problematic or not. And so on and so forth. So if, as far as being sinful, if it is that you're contracted to do a certain job and you're not doing it because you are doing talab al-ilm, then that would be something which would uh, fall under sinfulness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best because you're not fulfilling your contract, you're not fulfilling your duty. And the talab al-ilm would be, mustahab would be something recommended over something which is uh, an obligation which is to fulfill your promises and your duties and responsibilities. So uh, under those circumstances, then a person would be sinful. But if as long as it's not harming their work and it's a well-known profession which has uh, time in which there's a lot of downtime, it's well-known people watch videos and listen to music and do other activities and you're doing something which is khair, so bi'idhnillah ta'ala, there's nothing upon that. But if you want to be sure and feel comfortable about it, at least mention uh, this to your supervisors to make sure that you are, and say, you know, say, hey, I'm not doing anything that doesn't fulfill the requirement. Because people read the news, people do this on their jobs, and it's, it's no big deal. Uh, and it's not considered going outside of the work duty. So as long as it's not affecting your duties, then be it in Allah, this is khair, and you can benefit greatly and immensely from that type of activity. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us and our families to be obedient to Him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm al nafi, rizq al tayyib, ilm al taqabidin, and make our children and the youth of the Muslims to be of the salihin and forgive them of their sins and give them guidance. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم